What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this morning on Reddit, I came across this After Effects alternative motion graphics tool called Picky Move. I just found it here on Reddit. So let's actually take a look at it because this is really interesting. So when you go to pickymove.com, you're going to come up against this screen here. Now this is all browser based, so there's no programs to download or anything. So it says 100% free, no sign up, no AI. So you can just run everything right here inside of your browser. But if you scroll down, tells you free editor you know similar to after effects now the thing is this is made by one person so it's going to be a little bit feature light but this literally just came out and it's pretty impressive right off the bat so if i come over here let's start a new project so I'll come down here and say get started and right here you can see some project templates that he already created here so we're just going to start off with one maybe this picky logo animation here so if i click on this now I just take a moment or so to get started up, but it looks really familiar. Like it practically looks like After Effects right off the bat, right? So if I click on play, this is running real time right inside of my web browser, which I thought was pretty impressive. No RAM preview or anything. Now granted, this is running at 25 frames per second. And this content right here is only at 720p. Now you do have a maximum of 2000 by 2000. And so you're not going to be able to do 4K or anything. But if you want to do 1080p, 720p, etc., this will be a good solution for you. And then I noticed over here on the right hand side as well, he did say he's looking for new job opportunities. So maybe this is his way of putting his skill set out there. Maybe he could get picked up by, let's say, like Epic Games or something, you know, with their motion design tools because he does have a good sense of how to make a proper UI. Like this looks just like After Effects, right? If I come back up here to more demo projects, let's say 3D models, because this can import 3D models. So if I move this around like so, this is a GLB file. So I'm not sure about FBXs or OBJs. I don't think so as of right now, because again, this is all browser based. So this is running right off your Chrome browser or your Edge browser. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Firefox, at, le at least as of right now. But for being able to run it inside of a browser, again, I think it's pretty impressive, but they're not going to get the same fidelity as something like an After Effects or even like a DaVinci Resolve or Unreal Motion tools. But for some simple motion graphics, I think this is pretty good. Now I'm opening up his other project file that's similar to like a main title intro. So if I click on play here, this looks like something you would see for a cinematic film, which you can see there's some masking going on here. You have text effects down here and it's running pretty well here inside the web browser, which I was really impressed by. Again, this is running at 1080p and um, let me hit stop on here just to look through the timeline. So if we look through the timeline, again, it looks just like After Effects, but the one thing that I was really impressed by, which drives me crazy when using After Effects, is if I come down here and click on Group, it made a folder right here. So if I select these right here, I'm just holding down the Control key on my keyboard. I'm going to left click, select it under Group here. And now you can see that we have these text files grouped under this folder object right here. So it still keeps it and still maintains it. It's not a pre-comp, it's actually a folder, which I really like. That was something that Unreal Motion Design actually did as well, which I don't understand why After Effects still to this day doesn't allow folders inside their timeline there, but, but that's definitely a nice touch right there and definitely welcomed. Now this scene right here is showing the different blend modes that it has. So you're very familiar with blend modes if you're a motion graphics artist. So this will allow you to do blend modes in here, which is a nice touch again, it's going to be limited functionality it's just one developer but for one guy building this out on his own running this through a web browser i'm pretty impressed so i really can't wait to see how much further he could take it if he will take it further but for just being out for a couple of days i mean this is already off to a great start so like i said i literally just came across this this morning when i was on reddit it already looks like it's promising as i was saying a couple of times in here it's developed by one person so just imagine if this person has some type of funding or even a company backing him, how much further he could take this. The only caveat is like it is browser based. And so that's something that I'm not too crazy about. Like I would rather have an app that I can install on my computer because sometimes, you know, I'm traveling, I'm working on my laptop. I don't always have internet access. So just having a standalone that's allowed on your computer would be a great addition, but I know it's only one person and he's doing what he could do. But hopefully this continues to get developed and it gets pushed and gives after effects some much needed competition so once again my name is jonathan wimbush if you're new subscribe to the channel and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i see you in the next video i see you soon take care